Okay, so we are here with uh, Mike Stevenson of the West Cork Kickboxing Club, the recipient of the CMAP Outstanding Contribution Award, and John Toomey, uh, Paralympian, sailor and more. Um, first of all, Mike, how are you feeling? Very humbled and very honoured. Yeah, it must have taken an extraordinary amount of commitments and uh, time to, uh, you know, it all culminates in a night like this, but I'm sure you're more, co you're more focused on everything that's led you up to this point. It has, uh, I've been involved a long time and mm -hmm. I've had a lot, lot of success with my children, not yeah. so much with myself. Um, I went into the, I was involved, I've been involved with the club for a long time and then moved on to refereeing. Um, I was spending so much time training and sparring at the club. Yeah. Um, I suppose what you'd be doing more than anything, really, uh, fundamentally, is setting an example for these kids. Yeah. Um, you, you try, you're always trying to set a decent example. Um, with my own, I've, I've tried to set it with my own. And I have um, uh, a big bugbear, if you like, of the sense of fair play. Yeah. Um, I don't like bending the rules or in, in any shape or form, I, I, I think it's a form of cheating. So I, yeah. And this implies both discrimination and favouritism, I see. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm. I was speaking to his, um, Stephen Cole, the recipient of the CMA Community Spirit earlier, and he was talking about the importance of the principle of inclusiveness, that everybody must be given equal measure, equal participation, and also equal treatment across the board. So it sounds like, you know, you're you're definitely following a, you know, following a discipline that is consistent with many of the other clubs out there. So I'd like to think so. Yeah, I think Excellent. martial arts is probably the one of the leaders in um, sense of fair play. You know, you don't. You know, I think most of the mistakes, uh, and everyone makes mistakes, myself included. Um, but I think the honest mistakes. Yeah. Do you know, I don't, I don't think there's any. Um, like I've been involved in boxing before, and I, I saw things there that I wouldn't like to see in martial arts, and I never witnessed in martial arts. And I've been involved since my children. Well, my eldest one, Hannah, now she's 25, and she started when she was five. So yeah. over 20 years, I've been involved with West Cork. Before that, was 10 years previously in Manchester. So I've never seen anything. Mm -hmm. It's great to hear. Please, nice post. Yeah. Good stuff. And uh, personal development is probably something that's very much at the heart of this thing, though, uh, growing yourself mentally and physically, and putting yourself along the right track, along the right lines of development. Um, if you would say, it, it, would there any be any kind of main lesson that you would like to impart to any lay people or any spectators about like the, the fundamentals of the practice? I mean, um, it must be hard to boil so much experience down to like, one key lesson. So. I, I, th I think the the key lesson in, in in most things is that you should always try your best. And I know what everyone says on, on the for a reason. I, I, I think you know, like in martial arts, you have to try your best. You can't um, in so many other different <coughs> sports. You hear people going along for the ride, and journeymen. You know, even boxers, you have journeymen. And, you know the. the I think if you're going to do anything, you have to do it to the best of your ability. Yeah. And I think if you don't, you're only choosing yourself. Absolutely. I mean, fundamentally, you are doing it for yourself to better yourself. Yeah. So why would you hold back? Well, it's a very interesting point, Mike. Thank you. Uh, John, how are you feeling tonight? Good. Very honoured to be here and delighted yeah. to be part of this occasion because I feel that the martial arts probably don't get the, the PR <coughs> and the, the sports headlines that they should get because yeah. the discipline is fabulous and the achievements of the award winners here tonight is enormous. And I just wish that the public were more informed by the media of exactly what they're achieving. We'll do what we can. Um, but the, there's, um, there's that word that keeps coming up with everybody that comes through those doors, the word discipline. And that seems to be the one consistent transferable trait across everybody that we speak to, including yourself, John. Um, is there anything that you'd like to say about the fundamentals of discipline, how they would apply to your own experience as a Paralympian and as a sailor, and how that would translate across to both the young and old in the martial arts community? I suppose, for, first of all, you've, you've got to put the effort in and put an honest effort in mm. what you're doing. If you don't put an honest effort in, you won't achieve. If 
you put an honest effort in and you push yourself to the limits, then you'll achieve great things, you know. Right. And that's always, you know, I've seen, you know, people who would be probably not the most talented sailors, you know, but yet because of the amount of time, effort that they put into their sport, they get it over the other end and they achieve, you know. Excellent. So again, commitments and fairness of all yeah. else. Fantastic. Well, listen, guys, again, congratulations to you both. And I hope you have a great night and thank you for talking to me. Thank you very much. Thank you.